हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक न्यू वीडियो ऑन इफेक्ट ऑफ टायर इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर ऑन ट्रैक्शन ओके सो यू कैन सी देर आर टू फोटोज ऑन माय स्क्रीन बोथ आर सेम टायर्स दिस साइड इन दिस केस इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर इज अराउंड सेवन पी एस आई एंड दिस इज वर्किंग इन द फील्ड एज यू कैन सी हियर एंड द सेकेंड वन सेम टायर सेम ट्रैक्टर बट इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर इज ट्वेंटी पी एस आई ऑन द रोड सो इन सेकेंड केस इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर इज हाई इन फर्स्ट केस इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर इज लो सो इट इज टायर अटैच इन सेम ट्रैक्टर सो एज यू कैन सी क्लियरली इन दिस फिगर टायर डिफ्लेक्शन इज हैपनिंग सो वॉट इज टायर डिफ्लेक्शन इट इज बेसिकली रिडक्शन इन द इफेक्टिव टायर रेडियस और टायर डायमीटर बिकॉज ऑफ लोअर इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर सो वेन एवर यू विल पुट सम अमाउंट ऑफ लोड ऑन द टायर देर विल बी लिटिल बिट अमाउंट ऑफ डिफ्लेक्शन ऑलवेज बट वेन यू रिड्यूस योर इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर द अमाउंट ऑफ डिफ्लेक्शन विल इंक्रीज सो एज यू कैन सी क्लियरली ऑन माई स्क्रीन इन टू फोटोज दर इज अ स्टार्क कॉन्ट्रास्ट बिटवीन दीज टू फोटोज हाई इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर विल हैव वेरी लेस डिफ्लेक्शन वेर एज लोअर इन्फ्लेशन प्रेशर हैज हायर डिफ्लेक्शन सो वी विल सी इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन ट्रैक्शन and why why we are doing this reduction in inflation pressure in the field whereas why we increase inflation pressure on the road okay so moving ahead uh this is some information about me next so this is the answer as i have in in my different videos i have explained the impact the effect of traction and how we can improve or we can reduce the traction so as uh, i have already explained in my several videos that increasing tire footprint area increases the traction i think this should be this first line should be clear to all of you if if you you are still confused in this first line then please stop here just go back and uh, watch my video in playlist tire and traction series or at the same time you can watch my previous video uh, why tractor rear tires are bigger in both these videos i have explained this thing clearly so moving ahead increasing tire footprint area as we know increases the traction so our purpose is to increase tire footprint area okay now as you can see clearly this is the tire cross section so uh, basically uh, this is tire nominal rim diameter so this 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 rim to this rim dia this is called nominal rim diameter and this end to end diameter is called overall tire diameter and when you put some amount of load on this on this tire there will be certain deflection so as you can see this is the overall dia but because of load and inflation pressure combined effect of this will be this diameter will slightly decrease okay and uh, this de reduction is called deflection of tire so tire deflection has direct relationship in increasing the tire footprint area for more details on this tire cross section and other tire parameters you can watch my uh, first video of tire and traction theory series i have clearly explained everything in that video okay so just search that and watch it so reducing the inflation pressure for same normal load will increase tire deflection so i as we have seen in uh, first slide also and here also that if we reduce the inflation pressure for same normal load or for same tractor deflection will increase okay and when deflection will increase so it will increase basically the footprint area okay and because of that uh, this this is the reason why reducing inflation pressure help in increasing tire footprint area and therefore traction so as we can inference from all this thing that reduction in tire inflation pressure will have positive impact on traction or in other terms on drawer pull of a tractor so if we reduce tire uh, inflation pressure traction will improve okay but how much so there are some negative impact of uh, impact of reducing inflation pressure what are those first one is that if we reduce inflation pressure it will start in increasing tire wear so tire will wear out fast okay if we reduce inflation pressure and therefore this is the reason we should not reduce inflation pressure beyond the recommended level so every time tire manufacturer as well as tractor manufacturer will give us uh, the recommended level of inflation pressure in the tire so if we reduce beyond that uh, recommended inflation pressure then tire will wear out very fast so this is a fundamental basic answer of effect of inflation pressure on traction so if we reduce the inflation pressure traction will improve but we should not reduce it beyond a certain level okay now we will see little in depth this explanation so as you can see in this particular figure on on y axis there is width on x axis length so basically this is this is the tire footprint area 
and inside this area this all numbers 10 15 5 these are the the pressure in psi okay and similarly the first one is also a tire footprint area uh, with different pressure now both are footprint area of same tire okay with same load so as you can see here vertical load is same but inflation pressure is different the first one above one has 10 psi inflation pressure whereas the second one has 6 psi inflation pressure okay this figure i have taken from uh, this particular book so which is given to difference is already given so as you can clearly see when we are reducing the inflation pressure footprint area is increasing so the length of footprint area as well as a little bit width of inflation area both is increasing and which effectively increases the total uh, this total footprint area okay so this is the impact of reducing inflation pressure you can clearly see over here it's clearly visible over here okay similarly if we uh, go ahead and see this these three particular figures so here what what this figure is this is three dimensional view of uh, internal tire uh, cross section three dimensional view of pressure distribution under a smooth tire on soil okay so this is there are three cases the first one has inflation pressure of 14 psi so this one has highest inflation pressure 14 psi second one has 10 psi second one has 10 psi and third one has 6 psi so now again clearly you can see this is this if you see this like this you can i hope that you are able to see my cursor so if you see like this this is the width of tire okay so clearly sorry length of tire so clearly you can see this this length this this length is and this length and then third one this length so third one has highest length and therefore it will have highest footprint area so again you can see third one has lowest inflation pressure 6 psi second one has 10 psi third one has 14 psi so again clearly you can see that when we are reducing the inflation pressure uh, footprint area is increasing and as i have already explained that footprint area is directly related, related with traction so if we increase the footprint area by anyhow by any measure if we are able to increase the footprint area traction will increase correspondingly correspondingly slip will reduce okay so this particular figure has been taken from this reference okay so as now you are uh, able to clearly understand the effect of inflation pressure or, or in other terms effect of uh, reducing the inflation pressure on traction okay so again now the question is how much we should reduce it so as i have already told you that tire manufacturers and tractor manufacturers also recommend a certain level of load as well as corresponding inflation pressure you can search on google on tired uh, tire manufacturer websites and you, you will get that table so for each tire with different different amount of load which is coming on tire different different amount of inflation pressure is recommended so uh, you can in the field you can reduce uh, the inflation pressure up to the lower level okay while on the road you should increase the inflation pressure because uh, if you reduce inflation pressure tire wear will increase okay so the fundamental principle is if you are working in the field and doing some uh, some heavy operations like plowing or something like that where you are getting very high amount of slip or your tractor is not able to not able to achieve the required traction then you can reduce your uh, tire inflation pressure up to the recommended minimum level okay so that will help you reduce your uh, excessive slip which is happening in your field at the same time it will help in increasing traction but when you are on the road on the concrete surface doing some haulage operation or simply uh, doing some transport work then you, you, you need higher inflation pressure because on road because of concrete surface because of hardness of, of the of the surface if your inflation pressure is less then your tire will very fast wear out okay so while on the road you need to avoid excess wear of tire and therefore you need to increase your uh, tire inflation pressure up to the higher recommended level at the same time when you are in the field working in the field doing some uh, operations in the field with some agricultural implements and you are getting high slip and low traction then you can reduce your inflation pressure up to the minimum recommended level to get higher traction also friends there are certain automatic systems also uh, which can increase or reduce your tire inflation pressure according to requirement so you can search or you can read about that on google itself and uh, probably i will make a separate video on some of the automatic system okay so i hope that you have uh, understood the concept fully the effect of inflation pressure or in other terms the effect of reducing the inflation pressure on tire 
or how much we should reduce why we should reduce what what benefits we are getting uh, of this reduction so i hope everything is clear to you so thank you very much for watching uh, as always stay healthy uh, stay safe and enjoy working hard and thank you very much